products to Amazon? How do I do the GT the G10 exemption thing? So G10 exemptions, aka UPC codes, aka ISBN numbers, um, EANs. Uh, those are all G10s, Global Trade Index Number. That's what that means. A G10 is a global index trade number, but it, uh, it the, the names of those are UPC codes, EANs, that barcode number. That's what that is. So um, it, it's called different things, but again, you need one of those to list on Amazon. If you do not have a G10, then you need a G10 exemption. In order to get a G10 exemption, you generally have to have permission from the brand that issued that brand saying there is no UPC code for this particular product. It is exempt from that because of the following reasons. Now, Amazon gives you reasons why you can get a G10 exemption. And one of the number one reasons you can get a G10 exemption is that if it's a custom bundle, which is what you guys are creating. So you don't need a G10 for, to create your listing. If you're creating something that's not on the list of restricted brands, because there are brands that will not give you a G10 exemption. So even if you are approved to sell KitchenAid products, that approval doesn't instantly give you the ability to create new listings. It just means you can list on the existing ones that are there. So if you were trying to create a KitchenAid bundle and you wanted to put, I don't know, let's say KitchenAid makes all kinds of kitchen accessories. So you want to put uh, measuring spoons and measuring cups uh, together. They're both made by KitchenAid. They're both red. You want to create a custom bundle for that. You need a UPC code or a G10 for that. So you file for an exemption saying, I'd like a G10 exemption for creating a custom bundle for KitchenAid. And they're going to ask you to prove that you have permission from KitchenAid in order to create said bundle. You don't have that permission and they're not going to give it to you. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to create that bundle because their name is not only on the list of G10 requirements, but then you actually don't have permission to create custom bundles for them anyway. So the answer is going to be no. So with the G10 exemption, you can get G10 exemptions for many brands and you don't have to have permission from all of them, but they're going to want to see what you want to sell. So you're going to have to take pictures of either your packaging and or your items. If you're going to call it generic and they see a brand on anything that you're submitting in the photos, they're going to turn you down. Why? Because generic means no brand brand means brand. So if I hold up this pen right here and it doesn't have anything on it, then that would be generic. This is a generic black pen. But then if I tell them it's generic and then they see this side and say that there is an actual brand on that, it says mommy income on it, then they know that that has a brand. So they're not going to say, well, this is not, this is not generic. Their generic definition means it has no brand name under what it's sold on. And honestly, a lot of things on Alibaba, a lot of things that you can buy at wholesale suppliers and places don't have brands attached to them. They're just 